Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. And in the last episode, we had successfully beaten Satan after an hour of combat. <laughs> Good lord. That was rough. And I also lost practically all of my chakra pots. <laughs> well, here's hoping that, um... The last boss doesn't appear to be much of an issue. Hi, Satan. What does your essence do? Absorb, fire, light and dark, and resist physical. What skills? Megiddo Arc, Akash Guards, Trisagon, High Almighty, Paroma. That's it. I would have expected something more here, but okay. Okay, all side missions complete. The only thing left for us to do on this on this journey is to beat True Lucifer, then we move on to the canon of creation. So let's go. I mean, unless I want to talk, do some mini games with the uh, Mimon again, <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay, to the Empyrean, to the throne room. All right, let's try True Lucifer this time because apparently the dice god said I should do so. Yes. How will you envision this being? An extremely powerful being. Because normal Lucifer is way too weak. I don't think me, um... Yeah, me changing that will actually affect the cutscene at all, so I think I'm safe to skip it. <laughs> But I probably won't. Because I'm lazy like that. To possess such incredible power, no doubt means you are able to see my true form. Look upon me. As the Lord of Chaos, I defeated the Creator, consumed his knowledge, and became more than he could possibly imagine. Okay, we've already seen this before. It was then I came to understand this world. Allow me to share what I'd learned. Okay, Lu true Lucifer. Okay, he's level 99. So he's actually a challenge. Okay, so his moves are stronger. He's at plus eight and everything. Plus four and four at the end. So higher stats. Pierces through shit. Or rather, higher stats. Pierces through things. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll just, uh, go with this setup. Thunder. I don't think it was first gonna pull out the, uh, piercing shit until later. Now, granted, we're going to be doing a lot of damage regardless.
Hassan, Murakumo spam. Yeah, I'm sorry for just saying, Lucifer, even if uh, with you having higher stats, you are not as tough as everybody else. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You are not that tough. Watch this. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that uh, Lucifer stands no chance regardless of what settings I put him on. He does not have the HP to tank this crap. The fact that he takes normal damage from darkness is weird. I feel like he should be absorbing this. No, seriously, Lucifer's entire stat, entire resistance spread should be resist physical, null all four elements, and absorb light and dark. Because, you know, final boss. Oh, whatever. This is going to be a short episode, regardless. Sorry, Lucy, you are not that strong. Foolish. Oh, you can heal yourself. Of God's defeat. Truth. Okay, Lucifer, you're actually fighting back. But now you're weak to fire and ice there, buddy. Brimstone Star and Kokaitis Star. Well, it doesn't really matter. You're dying anyway. Also, it's impressive that you were able to heal a single Murakumo crit worth of HP, but uh, it's not going to help you. Now that you bring out the stars out, it's more effective to use this. And this... Uh, nice gem, why not? Let's see if this kills him. Following the world's recreation, a new dot will eventually appear. And soon after, the gods will rise up to claim the throne. Okay, I was talking shit, and now we got phase two. Okay, I like this. Battle after battle, you sought to purge demons from this world, but they will come slithering back, as they always do. This endless cycle is the result of a spatial governing phenomenon known as the Mandala System. So Lucifer's basically just putting that, putting it down that uh, demons will always exist with this, with this universe because this system is in place if we remove the system demons won't show up after they die supposedly do you not wish to be free of such restrictions do you not wish to be free from mandala's eternal machinations indeed uh question though lucy did you change no you did not you just uh got back to full but now you're weak to light Interesting. Same amount of HP, though. Energy drain, go! Dead. 
Deadly Fury? Wait, your moves have changed? Hold the phone. Also, did the music just change? Oh my god, his moveset changed. Returns target back to the stock after landing a critical hit. King's Ascendancy. Wow, that's annoying. Frey Kugel, you have Gaia Rage, are you fucking kidding me? Magma Access. Classic. Deadly Fury, Wild Dance, Charmed All Foes, Hot Dark Matter, Raises Attack to the Max for three turns, Contempt of God. Adds two press turn icons to the user's next turn, Holy Crucifixion. Okay, so it's nice to see that Magma Axis finally makes a return. Why Demifiend doesn't have this, I don't know. And this is the old version of Gaia Rage, it looks like. Okay, and Deadly Fury. I remember when Deadly Fury was just a freaking Eido draw slash, rather than just punching somebody. I miss that old animation. Well, Blue's for having a second form, at least this episode's gonna go longer than like 20 minutes. Or 10 minutes, I should say. Man, those boom boos really do affect the duration. Holy shit. I should've been using those a while. <laughs> oh, man. I should've been using Boom Boost and Boom Boost DX in combination a long time ago. Wait, did I give Kurosaki up both of those or am, I, or am I going crazy? No, I only gave her the EX version. Yeah, f you could definitely feel the difference with five with two extra turns. Holy shit. It, them lasting five instead of three, you could really feel it. Just for the MP recovery. Ow. One must consider true freedom. At least you're putting up more of a fight. Even though you're at half HP. Sorry, no, uh, shen charm shenanigans for you, Lucy. Oh yeah, I can actually do this now. Now let's see if you have more than two forms. Do you, uh, do you do anything when you're on low HP? Well, at least this Frey Kugel looks unique. Well, at least he tried. <laughs> Lucy tried. Um... Uh, you know, Odin, come on Don't here, you can get a piece. Go. That is it. No, wait, you're not going to be able to do anything, because by the time it gets to you, he's already dead. <laughs> Stage three. Long have I searched for a way to truly be free. At last, I have found but one possibility. End me. Consume my knowledge, and with it, 
wrest this world from the Mandala's endless eons. This is the reason for my transcendence. All right, Lucy, uh, what's changed this time? Oh my, Star Fragment. If the user does not receive damage on a turn, adds one press turn icon to the start of the next turn. What? Okay, and we're back to his other resistances. Inferno of God, Hailstrom, Lightning, Tornado, so severe to all. Megadolion, Morning Star, classic. Cold Dark Matter. And Evil Gleam, wow, this got nerfed to hell. Well, oh, he didn't revive back to full HP, only half HP. Go here. No I mean, do I really need Kona Sakia right now? Not really. Noticing that the uh, audio cue for him saying Murakumo isn't matched up in English. I wonder if it's like that in Japanese as well. Because I, I think Murakumo has the same amount of syllables in both languages, but I could be wrong on that one. No way, Yoko has Meteor Rahim. We're fine. Oh, you have the Kunda as well. Okay. You made another star. <laughs> he made the morning star. That's funny. But he's weak to all ele elementals now. I am just curious to see what the morning star does. Okay, immune to the ale. Okay, so these stars he makes are just really just ways for you to beat him. While on the active party, all lose uh, ally lose first phase resistance become weak to fire, ice, electric, and force. The worst kind of resistances in the game. Tie between being weak to physical. Actually, no. Being weak to physical is the worst kind of weakness besides ailments ever in this franchise. Because no matter what. The, ab the ability for anyone to do a basic physical attack is always a threat. It's like being weak to elemental spells is a problem, but it's a dealable problem. Being weak to physical is just a death sentence. Anyway. Gaia Rage! Well, Odin, you can use this, finally. This I honestly do think that Odin should have his own unique, uh, lightning spell. Come on, no extra crit. Light of the Empyrean. Bestow annihilation. Oh, so that's what happens. So that's what happens when you leave a star out. Well, okay then, now I know. It's just like dealing with Konshu Ra. If you don't do the uh, correct thing in time, you get instantly killed. Got it. Well, Odin's dead. Fantastic. But Yoko has one of the best passives for that type of shenanigans in the game. 
It's like, hey, after battle, everyone gets revived. Hooray. I'm honestly surprised they didn't give uh, Demi Fiend his original uh, Frank Google animation just for consistency. Although they probably should have given him uh, more moves, to be perfectly honest. Specifically, more unique stuff. Or, actually, what I mean is his unique skills from Nocturne. The time has come. Oh no, Magnolion! I'm scared. Congratulations, Yoko! You can dodge. You ready? And it's time for Lucifer to be uh, put down. Well, Lucifer, you were definitely were more challenging than the first time we fought you. Why do I feel something feels weird though to me? Am I on normal difficulty? Because the damage does not feel like I'm on normal mode. I'm not gonna lie. Feels weird. Feels like I'm playing on casual, even though I don't think so. think I am. Ah. Heal up Sakia's damage. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Murakuma was actually doing act fucking damage like I expected it to do. Uh, let's use a good old Eye of Balor. Foolish. <laughs> uh, Lucy, you really think that's going to help you at all? You are on low life. You do not have the time to cast the stars. Especially when your own creation is going to kill you with this. Wow, you survived. Return to the abyss. I got a bad feeling about this. So I'm gonna do the smart option and do that. Oh wait, never mind. And with that, we defeat the true Lucifer. The world shall be plunged into chaos, and from that roiling sea, a new freedom must surely emerge. Well, I hope you people like uh, the end, seeing the end cutscene cut and credits again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. And next up is the Canon of Creation route. But until then, thank you for watching out wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the credits.
The chaos of the world's beginning. Now it shall resurrect the void. The Empyrean and the throne of creation shall be nothing. Enveloped in the empty. Every world that has been will vanish. The darkness will take them, and a new future will be born. As it was, such is the world desired by all those who have ever known suffering.